Welcome back to the online media guys. In today's tutorial, let's go into the cover to create an ads account into Facebook Business Manager, now called the actual Meta or Meta Business Suite. So the actual application of the business owner looking to expand for a digital footprint or a marketer keen and exploring Facebook advertising capabilities, this guide is totally for you guys. So first of all, what you want to do is to focus into setting up a Facebook Business Manager account. So I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so we can get started here into the Meta Business Suite. So in order to get started here, what I wanted to do is to hit into get started where it says meta business suit and I choose get started. What I can truly suggest to you is to sign into your actual account of Facebook in order to continue. Now, usually we already have an actual meta business suit here section, but if you don't here, what you can do is to get started with an actual new portfolio. If I choose the option that says create a business portfolio, it's going to be, of course, asking me to go directly with a mobile application. So first of all, I don't need it to get started here. Now here that I have my account, I'm going to create my business portfolio. Now in this business portfolio, I'm going to go for, let's say like this, I'm going to add my first name. And then what you want to do is to add your business email. Now it's going to be really important. This might not be visible for the contact uh, or the customers, but this is really important to add into your value email address. Now it's going to be asking us to claim into a business portfolio. So here what I do is to enable my Facebook page since I already have an actual Facebook page. And I hit now into next. Now it's going to be asking me if I want to add more people directly into my business portfolio. In this case, I don't want to do this at the moment because this will be only myself. Now I'm going to hit now into confirmed. And this is the review and the confirm of your business portfolio. Now your business portfolio should be created in no time. Now, after setting up your actual account, Facebook might be required to verify your actual business. So make sure that all the stuff has now been connected automatically. In this case, we are ready now to manage our marketing content, posts, reel, and so much more. If you wanted to add an Instagram account, what you can do is to hit now into connect and hit now into connect. So I'm going to allow access to the Instagram messages in inbox and hit now to connect. It's going to be really, uh, let's say, amazing for people who wanted to get started in adding their own content into the stores. So usually this might not be taking a lot. And of course, the first impression with new audiences by adding a cover photo and all that information should be added in no time. Now that I have added my information directly into my meta business suit, I wanted to make sure that my business details are now correctly added. So navigating to the business settings directly here where it says settings, I wanted to make sure that all the relevant details about my business, including my business address and contact are now being added correctly. As you can see here into the users, I can add people, partners and system users that can be helping me to access this business portfolio. The business portfolio is going to be helping to manage absolutely everything directly inside Facebook and Instagram at the same time. Even what I can do is to add different pages, add account, business ads groups, the application. I have now a new ad account. And if you don't have an actual ad account for creating ads into Meta, I'm going to hit into add. And now it's going to be telling me create a new ad account or to claim an existing ad account. So I right here is going to be choosing an ad account ID. If you don't have an actual ad ID, I'm going to hit into create a new one. And here is going to be telling us what is the account name. The confirmation should be added and then lastly going to hit now into done and then what you can do is to add an actual payment method in order to continue. The same thing with the business asset groups. The business asset groups going to be helping you to gather all the information and filtering everything about your assets. Of course, people and permission in just one place. If you want to check out more applications, Instagram account and WhatsApp account here should be added in no time. And lastly, guys, you can see the how the data sources, the brand safety and the integrations. Now here, what you wanted to do once you added all the permissions after creating your ad account is sign the appropriate people and set their access levels. So you can give someone uh, either administrative access which allows full control over the account or limited access. That's really depending on how you wanted to manage your actual business portfolio. And lastly, linking your ad account to an actual page. So to run ads, you'll need to link your ad account to a Facebook page. So going back directly here into the business assets, click into pages and directly into your account. Associate here your page directly with the actual asset. Now that your ad account is set up, you can create your first campaign. Instead of going into the full section, let's go only into all the tools and go directly into the ads manager. 
I'm going to scroll all the way down and focus into advertised and here it's ad manager. Now here what I can do is to click into campaigns, create my very first campaign. Of course you want to make sure that here into the upper side you have your actual ad manager and I can get started by creating an ad payment method. I hit now into create and here I can start by adding all the information about what I'm looking for. For example, one is traffic, engagement, leads, application promotion, sales and so much more. And design your actual ad. So once you're satisfied everything is correct, click into the launch, you can start advertising and your campaign should now be created in no time. All the information you want to check out directly inside Meta Business Suite, it's into the older tools. You can check out the commerce manager to sell directly into Facebook, Instagram, the billing payments, the business ads, his audience, events manager, ads manager, and so much more. So guys, that is actually it. How to actually get started with a Facebook ads account and business manager into the 2024. So guys, thank you for tuning into today's tutorial. If you find this helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video. Keep watching online media for more helpful guides and tips. Until next time.